Welcome back to another video. Today is another video about styling the things that we already own. I previously did a video styling some looks that I saved from Pinterest and just finding inspiration to accessorize or update things or use things that I already have in my wardrobe in new and interesting ways. Today I'm actually going to style full looks from images that I've had saved in my phone for a really long time. I hope this is something that you find inspiration from and that allows you to maybe look at the things that you own in new and interesting ways. Now I find most of my inspiration images either just from Google, by looking at Vogue, runway shows, or on Pinterest. I tend to steer clear of Instagram or influencers when I am just looking for pure outfit inspo. Sometimes it's quite tricky territory and it becomes very samey. You start to see the same things on the same type of influencers. And also there's the whole thing of the encouraged to buy something. I find if I'm looking at runway images from Vogue or finding them on Pinterest, it's quite a safe space because I, number one, cannot afford the items. And number two, it's just pure fashion. It's not jaded by anyone trying to sell me something. I just feel like it's a free zone to play in. Just to jog my memory, let's jump in with look number one. This is a Vivian Westwood look and I loved it as soon as I saw it. Essentially what drew me in here is this sort of active wear looking tech fabric kind of feeling top that paired with a asymmetric skirt or something interesting on the bottom and a strappy sandal. These are not three things that you would expect to see together but somehow they look very cool to me. How I put this together with the things that I own is that I took a rain mac top and waterproof top. I don't know what you call this. If I come up with the word, I'll put it on the screen here. I took that and paired it with a skirt of a different texture. This is from C by Chloe. It's something that I really, really treasure. It's a very luxe knitted fabric. Not the same as this skirt, but really did the trick for me here. I popped on my favorite pair of tippy sandals. I love an ankle tie strappy sandal. Underneath the top, I put on a shoulder pad t-shirt. And this just helped, I think, to give the look a little bit of structure. I really love this together and it is something that I would wear. I'm trying to figure out where exactly I would wear this. It is quite strange. It's a dressy shoe mixed with something very casual on top and the addition of the cap. This is exciting to me. This feels different. It feels new. It feels fresh and this is exactly how I want to dress and how I want to push my style going forward. The great thing about playing with your wardrobe in this way is that as you are trying to replicate looks or at least for me anyway, Way, I find new outfits within that. I took the top off, took the cap off, and then realized that I really love the shoulder pad tee with the skirt. I generally wouldn't have paired these together because they are both stretchy, so like a stretchy tight fit skirt and a t-shirt. However, the proportions actually look great, and I loved it with the shoulder pad, loved it with the sandal. Two, for one, this next look I've used before. I used it in the previous Shop Your Closet video. And this is from Ada Era. And I love this so much. It's a no-brainer for me. Pairing a shirt with a pair of jeans. But what I haven't done before is done a half tuck like this with the belt. I'm just wearing a pair of vintage Calvin Klein jeans that I've got. My favorite pair of New Balance sneakers. I say favorite pair, they're the only New Balance sneakers that I own. It's really a simple look. This is a secondhand cap that I got from Depop and the shirt is one of my own reworks. It's called the party shirt. It's got a cool wavy hem detail on the bottom which I love and is only accentuated by the little half tuck. My jeans are a little bit longer than the ones in the image but I really love them bunching up around the bottom and it's really what draws me to this pair of jeans in particular. I love wearing them extra long like this. I was really chuffed and impressed with how this look came out. As I was taking this one off I thought there's not much that I would need to feel elevated in this. I really love a shirt and jeans combo for any occasion really. I decided to just take off the cap and pick up my little mini Yusefi bag. Just the addition of this bag, I felt like I would easily, happily go out for dinner in this with the sneaker, 
because I've got an earring on and my hair slicked back, I think it feels very chic and a relaxed evening look or something really fun to go out in if you want to be comfortable. The third and final look. I have shown you this one before as well. It is the one from Commission. It's from their fall collection, I think. It's the sequin skirt. I don't have anything sequined or glitzy in my wardrobe. So in recreating this look for myself with the things that I own, I used a vintage blazer that I picked up from a charity shop. A shirt, that's a no-brainer. I have many, many of those. What I don't have is a roll neck or something to give that proportion at the top there. So I just used a silk scarf that I have just to cover up my neck to really try and match the image as much as possible. Instead of the skirt, I've got a pair of Gani trousers. They're striped and they're in a very cool, it's almost like a lightweight taffeta. I don't know what the actual fabric is. They're a little bit shiny and so I thought let me use these uh, in place of the sequin skirt. The cowboy boots that I've used are a white pair that I have. The shaft isn't as long again as the image but I'm just obsessed with this and I just wanted to see what I could do to get this look without having to buy anything new. Just get the vibe a little bit you know. I put this all together and to be honest it was a bit much. To make the most of the cowboy boots, I tuck the trousers in and it looks okay, but I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't wear it in this way. This is the beauty of experimentation is that we're playing essentially, it's costing us nothing, it's free, but it's really great in figuring out what you really feel comfortable in and what you don't. I decided then that I would pull the trousers out over the top of the cowboy boot and just have the toe peeking out the edge. I also removed the scarf, which again, just made me feel a little bit more relief. I feel like the skirt image works really well because you can see a bit of her skin, a bit of the leg. With the trousers and the volume up here with the neck scarf, I didn't feel like the proportions were totally correct. I very haphazardly just took the scarf, popped it into the blazer pocket, just as an extra added little detail, and voila. I feel like this is a look now that I will definitely, definitely be wearing. It's really just so fun to play with our wardrobes and my goal, I guess, is just to encourage people to do the same. I 100% get that not everyone is going to have the same style as me. Whatever style you have, I hope that you got the tip that looking at runway images is not exactly out of reach for us. We can really use that as a safe zone to play without feeling the pressure to get anything new. And I hope that you just enjoyed seeing these looks that I put together and I really had fun so I hope you did too. If you've watched till the end thank you so much for being here. Consider subscribing and definitely drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about these looks. I'll see you again soon.